Hi guys and welcome. On this video we are going to understand how to wisely choose a life insurance company and the main factors we should consider while shopping around. How does one wisely choose an insurance company? This is probably the first question a person asks when looking for an insurance company to serve his needs. After all, there are thousands of insurance companies in the market ranging from the small players to the established giants. Insurance is an intangible product, so it's imperative to be careful from where you should buy it. Many people have bad experiences with many insurance firms in the past because they dealt with the wrong companies. To be safe, take your time and do some digging for information before making your choice. A common mistake of many buyers is relying exclusively on the advice of their insurance brokers. It's not entirely a bad thing, but keep in mind that brokers work to get commissions. It's possible that they would likely recommend a company that would give them the highest commission, but not the best product. Here's some other factors to look into as you do your research into these companies. The first thing to take into account is the company's reputation. Don't get taken in by flashy advertising or expensive marketing campaigns. Check out how long the company has been in the insurance business. A good track record should be your primary consideration when looking for an insurance company. Look them up on the internet and do some research about how they do business. The internet could be a good source of information about them, especially customers' reviews that describe their service and reliability. You may not find one that has 100% positive reviews. In fact, you should look at the negative feedback. Find out the nature of the problems brought out by the dissatisfied customers. If you find reports about non-compensation of its policyholders, then that is a big red flag for you. You'd better not do business with these people. Being in the business for some time and having many policyholders may be some good signs, but financial strength is key. Look at the financial reviews to help you answer that one important question. Financial stability is another very important criteria. Each state regulates the insurers in their jurisdiction. Their respective insurance departments monitor the financial health of licensed insurers so they can do business in the area. States promulgate many regulations to prevent insurer insolvencies. Just the same, some insurance companies still fail. So before you buy a policy, make your own evaluation about the insurer's financial health. The good news is, evaluating an insurer's financial health does not require you to be a business or math expert. Rating firms have done the hard part for you. Some of these firms are AM Best, Standard & Poor's, Moody's & Fitch. Each of these agencies follow their own rating criteria. Because of this, one company can get a high rating from one agency and can get a low rating from another. So consider looking at multiple ratings when evaluating an insurance company. Premium and cost are the bread and butter of every life insurance company, and therefore you should pay attention to this factor. A premium is an amount that you'll pay the life insurance company. Even for the same amount of death benefit an insurance type, i.e. term life insurance, the premium can differ widely among companies. This is because some companies have product features that others don't have, or maybe they simply just charge higher. So the first step in comparing policies is to compare similar plans based on your age, the type of policy and its features, and the amount of insurance coverage you want. Remember this. The cost of the premium is not always proportionate to the amount of protection of the policy. One policy might have a higher premium, but might have additional benefits, like policy dividends, than others. Maybe two companies might promise policy dividends, but for different amounts in different times. In some cases, the higher premium may give a lower coverage or protection. So how can you tell what a policy costs? Your company should tell you the policy's net payment cost index, the amount of death benefits provided in the policy. They should also tell you the surrender cost index, the amount you'll get if you surrender the policy in future for its cash value. Use the surrender cost index if you are planning to keep the insurance only for a specific period of time. Use the payment cost index if you are planning to keep the policy indefinitely. The rule is, the lower the cost index, the better. When choosing your life insurance company, don't forget their service quality. This is important when choosing an insurance company. Find out their employees' attitude towards potential customers like yourself. Are they available to respond to inquiries, whether by phone or in person? Do they patiently listen to your needs, or are they eager to make a sale? These are some questions you need to answer before you make a choice. Locality of the company is another aspect we should take into account. The trend today is buying insurance online. And although it's convenient and easy, you still have to be careful about buying insurance products through the net. It is advisable to buy insurance from a company that has a physical presence in your locality. This way, 
and a serious problem, you can have an office to run to. Also, buy from a company that has a specific license to sell in your state. This will avoid all the hassle should you need to file a lawsuit for claims against them. And last but not least, look for a full disclosure. No surprises, please. Choose a company that has a full disclosure policy. Know all the terms and conditions of the product you are buying, as well as the many do's and don'ts. An ideal company should be clear and open about its clauses and conditions. But some companies hide clauses inside the fine lines and use these clauses later to avoid paying their policyholders. Many policyholders are equally guilty because they do not even try to understand the policy. Some just sign and agree on the forms without even reading the entire contents. It is important to read and know all the provisions of the policy before you sign it. It would be even better if your lawyer can read it before you sign. On the bottom line, choosing an insurance company for your needs is not an easy thing. Considering the financial meltdown in 2008 and 2009, several financial institutions and insurance companies have folded up, merged with bigger companies, or sold some of their divisions. But don't worry too much. State guarantee funds will pay up to a certain amount per policy in the event that your company sinks. Lots of luck to you. But that's it for now. On our website, you can find more posts as well as calculators and other financial tools. How do you choose your life insurance company? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget, subscribe to our channel on YouTube to get more free financial education videos.